Hola Alex, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días, ¿está bien? Tanto, obviamente no es eh, una ventana oficial FIFA y muchos han hablado de, de, y lo acaba de hablar el coach Hudson, sobre cómo el América te dio permiso de venir, cómo tú insististe que querías estar acá. Cuéntanos un poco ese proceso de estar acá y cómo te sientes. Sí, no, primero que nada agradecido, como dices, que, que el Club América me dejó venir. Y a gusto, la verdad, eh, conozco mucho a los chavos que están acá, entonces desde el primer día que llegué eh, me dieron la bien, bienvenida. Ayer tuve la oportunidad de platicar con Brandon Vázquez. Sí. Él, él comentaba que está en la misma situación que tú, la, la oportunidad de jugar para ambas naciones. Uh -huh. Estar aquí obviamente es una señal importante. Eh, ¿Has pensado en eso? Sí, ahorita yo ando disfrutando el momento, aprovechando la oportunidad que me dieron. Y nada, como digo, estoy feliz de estar con, con gente que conozco desde hace muchos años. That's a tough, tough answer, but uh, I guess just me doing my thing daily, uh, working hard over there in Club America, uh, playing well, and just taking advantage of my opportunities. In your mind, is this thing kind of closed now? I mean, are you, do you, do you view yourself as a U.S. player kind of going forward from here? Or, you know, because I know you could technically still file for that switch, right? Or is that yeah. still kind of up for debate? No, like I said in Spanish, uh, I'm enjoying the moment, uh, taking an opportunity that I have this week, uh, have my mind focused on tomorrow's game. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. Steve, you know a lot of these guys um, yeah. from your teams and growing up in the game. Um, do you sense um, an embrace from them in, in bringing you into this program uh, to a greater degree now? Is, is, that, is that pretty obvious to you that they're, they're trying to? Uh, like I said, I get along with a bunch of them, Mikel, uh, Jesus, Paul, obviously I know Brandon. I know a bunch of other guys like Eric, Sabi, so it's, uh, it's nice to like finally see them after so many years. So we get along pretty well. Kyle. Yeah, Connor, you just make the move to Chelsea and then obviously back here fairly quickly. How do you weigh that decision in terms of whether to try to keep adjusting there or to take the opportunity to come into this? No, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. So, you know, using this opportunity to show what I can do as a player for the U.S. men's national team, I think that's very important. But, yeah, the move has been great. You know, the training and, and level there is, you know, something that I think every player dreams of. So. You know, coming out here and showing what I've learned out there for the for the short time I've been there, I think that's you know something I can use to my advantage. You know, coming out and you know training the skill that that they've taught me there. So I think that you know using both of, uh, of these opportunities is uh, as an advantage is, is what's most important. Did, did the club there have a message for you about coming here and kind of what this opportunity means from their standpoint? I mean, yeah, they're super they're super proud. You know, a club like that I think gives you them. Uh, the most resources to be successful when you get an opportunity like this. So, yeah, they're super happy, told me to, to enjoy the moment, you know, hopefully get my, my first cap with the men's national team. So, yeah, I mean, a club like that is very supportive and, you know, they're going to give me the, the most amount of help they can to, to get my best performance on the field if that occasion happens. Sanjay. There is a um, So the guys that you played on the men's national team these days who aren't here, guys like Christian Young in Europe, uh, since getting the call and from the camp, have you been in touch Uh, I haven't really talked to any of them. Just I think the only one I talked to was Christian, and he just told me, "Hey, man, uh, heard you going into camp. Uh, enjoy." And that's pretty much it. Okay, we'll take questions from our Zoom audience, and we'll begin with Jonathan Tannenwald. Uh, thanks, Michael. This is Jonathan Tannenwald from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Alejandro, it plays a little bit off of what Steve asked um, a moment ago. What's it like to be recruited? We're sort of used to this with high school and college football. You, know, you spend enough time in Texas to know what that culture is like. Yeah. What's it like seeing it a little bit in international soccer? Yeah, like uh, like Aga said, it's an honor to be here, uh, enjoying the moment, trying to take uh, advantage of this opportunity that not everyone uh, can get, you know? Appreciate it. Next will be Charles Bohm. Hi, thanks to both of you for your time. Um, uh, Alejandro, I, I, 
I wanted to follow up and, and learn a little bit more about what your journey in, in Mexican soccer was like for you. Because I believe when you joined Chivas, you had to um, officially sort of decline future call-ups from the U.S. or, or commit yourself uh, to Mexico. And, and then your, you know, your journey took you in a lot of different places. So um, what was your international, I guess, mindset like during those times making your career in Liga MX? And, and when did you begin to get, I guess, or did, was there contact from U.S. soccer that whole time? Or was that something that came along later? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, that contact came a little bit later because uh, at the beginning, once I made the move, I didn't really get uh, much playing time. So I was just focusing on trying to get my opportunity, play, play, play. But uh, yeah, that didn't come until later uh, until I made my move to Ikaxa. I got more playing time. Uh, I guess you can say I got back on the radar. And now that I made this move to, to Club America, that, that helped me out a bit. Next will be Jeff Carlisle. Thanks, Michael. Uh, my question is for Gaga. Um, what eye openers have there been uh, since you've been to you know to Chelsea? I mean, were there were there parts of your game that that you realized, hey, I need to sharpen that up that, that maybe you didn't think about before? Um, I think um, you know going into Chelsea, I knew that I think I needed to improve on everything in my game. You know, when you go to a club of that level, I think it's very important to have a, a growth mindset. You know, you need to go into every training as you know you're trying to work to to become the best you know you want to improve as a player every single day so yeah I mean the training you get there is obviously as you can imagine probably the best you'll you'll receive in the world so I think if you can learn from everyone use every use everyone as your teacher I think that you know it's only going to help you and you know help you succeed in the future we'll go to Ron Blum hi Alejandro when you play for Mexico Anyone at the Mexico Federation suggest you needed to do any paperwork? Were you surprised by all the fuss and being declared ineligible because of the lack? And but are you still able down the road if you choose to switch to make a switch to Mexico, or are you locked in now to the U.S.? Uh, like I said, I'm just enjoying the moment. I'm enjoying this week. Uh, it's it's fun to uh, reconnect with a bunch of players that I used to play with, and uh, like I said, it's an honor to be here. Ron, just to answer your question, uh, Alex is still eligible. Thank you. Next will be Ryan Talmadge from Goal.com. Thank you, Michael. Um, this one's for Gaga. You know, I just kind of wanted to ask about sort of the off-field aspect of your life over the last few months. Obviously, leaving your hometown club to, to move to London and a different city, a different country, a different league where you're surrounded by all these different players and different things you know what's your life kind of been like off the field and how have you adjusted to what obviously is a big career move but also a big life move yeah the first the first few days were a bit difficult you know being um away from home away from uh family you know it was a bit um unusual to to kind of see that as my home now but you know being there for the last three weeks i think it's something that you know when you realize it, it's it's everything you dreamt of as a as a young kid you know i think that the younger version of myself would be very proud of where I'm at, you know, at my age. So I think if I have that mindset of just, you know, that this is my home now, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to be successful here. You know, I think it's the, the best thing I can do for myself and my family who have made, you know, so many sacrifices for me to, to get to that moment. Next will be Jake Fenner. Thank you, Michael. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, Gaga. This is Jake Fenner from the Daily Mail. I have a quick question for both of you. Uh, Ali, I hate to belabor the point about this situation with the FMF, but in general, are you happy with the way things ended up? Uh, to be honest, I don't really like to uh, to pay much attention to like what's going out of outside of like the soccer standpoint, uh, because that's our job, you know. Like, I'm just focused on what I can do on the field and how I can help out uh, the team the best way possible. Thank you. And for Gaga, uh, did Christian Pulisic offer you any advice coming into this camp? Um, yeah, I spoke with him before going in. Um, you know, he's a great guy. He's dealing with a little bit of an injury right now. So, you know, he might not be in the, the best mood because every player wants to, you know, come out on the field and, you know, play because obviously that's, that's what we love to do. But, yeah, he's been a great guy ever since I, you know, got it to Chelsea, you know, helping me out, getting the to know everyone around there, know a few good places I could go to after training if I ever want to take some time off. But yeah, Christian's a great guy going through a little bit of recovery, but he'll be back on the field and you know playing at his best soon. Next will be Renee Trejo. 
Muchas gracias, Michael. Para Alejandro, un gusto saludarte, René Trejo de, de Fox Sports. Alejandro, ya has gusto. dicho que es un honor estar eh, con los colores de los Estados Unidos. Platícanos un poco, eh, me imagino que te ha apoyado tu familia en esta, en esta decisión. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que, lo que te han dicho en tu casa, tu familia? ¿Y qué es lo que hace tan atractiva la selección de los Estados Unidos? Sabemos que tiene una gran generación de futbolistas. ¿Qué es lo que la hace tan atractiva? Gracias. Eh, sí, mis papás, mi familia, mis hermanos, obvio, me, me apoyan en cada decisión que tomo. Y como dices, el equipo que, que tiene la, la selección, tengo compañeros que ya están jugando en Europa, eso me motiva mucho más. Eh, y el grupo que tiene, pues esta selección es muy grande, muy buena. Y te lo digo, es muy, muy feliz de estar aquí con ellos, disfrutando el momento. We'll take a few more questions and continue with Doug McIntyre. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for doing this, guys. Um, Alex, th this game, and I know you're focused on tomorrow's game, but it's, it's a friendly. The next number of games for the U.S. team are in official competitions. How open are you to getting called in for Nations League, Gold Cup um, later on this year? Thank you. Uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a great game for the whole team. Hopefully uh, we get that win. And then uh, on the personal level, personal side, uh, hope it's a great game for me. And then uh, I'll, I'll probably focus on the future once uh, once we get to that standpoint. You get me? Next will be Andrea Canales. Hi, this question is for both of you. Gaga first. Uh, you had to make the decision, or at least you decided to declare uh, your eligibility for the U.S. Uh, did Was there any sort of like peace or resolution? I mean, obviously you're you're dual national with Poland, and you had that option. Uh, how did it feel to kind of have that settled? And, and did you feel like, you know, more at peace? And uh, Alejandro, when the question comes to you, um, is are you anticipating kind of like not hearing these questions and just being like settled uh, when that time finally comes in whichever direction? It's it's kind of. Uh, decided on? Are you looking forward to that in any way in terms of having sort of, you know, uh, resolution? Uh, yeah, so, you know, it was a, a really difficult choice, but obviously both my parents are from are from Poland, but, you know, they came over here when they were about 20, 21 years old, you know, with, with no idea how to speak the language, and I think they gave me and my family, you know, an amazing life. You know, they provided us with everything that we have now, so I think it's a sort of like a a way of re rewarding, you know, I want to I wanna win trophies with this country, I want to win medals with this country and, you know, give the country what it deserves for the hard work we put in. So, yeah, for me, it was a, it was a difficult decision. You know, obviously I have Polish roots, but, you know, my heart was, was American. And for me, yeah, uh, like I've been saying, I'm enjoying the moment, enjoying the present. I'd rather live day by day. And then once uh, the moment comes to, to choose or the future, I'll, I'll decide on that later. Last question comes from Andrew Jones. Thank you, Michael. Um, first is for Gaga. How has it been working with Graham Potter over the first few days and weeks that you've been over there in his whole mentality? And for Alejandro AZ, um, how has it been, what's been the most entertaining um, aspect so far of being with the team over the past two days? Brendan Vasquez and also Pastor Harrison complimented you about the personality and you being energetic. So what's been the most entertaining for you as well as Gaga over the course of these two days? Yeah, so I mean, obviously playing at a club like Chelsea, you know, it's a it's an extreme honor. You know, you watch those you watch those teams growing up and, you know, being with the with the coaching staff there, you know, they're doing the best. They're working their hardest to to give us the best opportunity to play well on the field. So yeah, having that coaching staff and, you know, being able to learn from all the players, I think it's the best best thing you can do, you know, when you have that when you have a good mentality and you can learn from everyone, you know, use everyone's key points to, to make yourself better. You're, you're only going to get better as a player and as a human off the field. You know, they give you the best resources to, to be the best person on and off the field. So, yeah, you know, playing at Chelsea is, uh, is something I take, you know, very seriously and, you know, I love it. And can you repeat your question for me, please? What's been the most entertaining part? Yeah, probably reconnecting with, uh, with the guys. It's been forever, probably like six years ever since I made the move to Mexico. Uh, kind of lost connection for a bit, but it's good to see the guys again, and we're we're all jokesters. <laughs> Appreciate everyone joining today. It's USA Serbia tomorrow from BMO Stadium in Los Angeles.
10 p.m. Eastern Time, live on HBO Max, Universo, Peacock, and the Telemundo app. Thanks for joining, and have a good afternoon.